Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, recently in some of the news articles out there, there have been this statement about Norwegian cruise lines and leaked emails and what's going on and people have asked for my opinion. And so I'm going to give it to you. So what am I talking about? Some news medias including the New York Times, the Miami Times, Guardian News, a whole bunch of publications have come out with supposedly these leaked emails. Now apparently they all seem to be from one source. That's right, one source. Every article is quoting the exact same email from that exact same person. So we have to take that into consideration. They are stating that um, they are being told uh, from management to tell the employees who are selling and answering the phone a couple things. One thing is um, because of all the situation that's going on right now, the prices have dropped really considerably and we are inundated with calls, people trying to book cruises because of the low low prices right now so you better buy it right now pay up and lock it in because it's going to go much much higher in the very near future or sell out really <laughs> um first of all i don't think i i have a hard time ever believing somebody would actually try and sell me something like that online uh, as a as a person, um, but uh, especially anyone who's in the news whatsoever, listening to what's going on around the world with cruise lines shutting down and things like this, you know darn well prices aren't dropping right now and people aren't calling the cruise lines panicky because their cruise might sell out. So no, I, I have a hard time really believing that one. Now the other ones are more concerning if this is being said, and again, it's one email from one person okay so we have to take this with a grain of salt and then i'll tell you my opinion and how i'm what i what i've experienced personally so some of the emails out there are saying that um they're being told to tell people when asked about what's going on in the world with the b-i-r-u-s that uh it's a known fact that the caribbean with its ultra warm beautiful climate uh, it can't survive there. It can only survive in cold temperatures, which is completely wrong um, as far as we know right now. A lot, they're also say, stating things like uh, the spring and summer will put an end to this as it will. you will see a huge drop because this will stop what's going on. So again, these are completely false. Nothing has been proven in any way. This is such a brand new thing that's going on in the world, so it's not true whatsoever. Now, what do I think about this? Well, if it really is going on, yeah, you know what? I can, I can understand them, the cruise lines panicking um, and trying to, you know, convince people not to cancel cruises or at least buy a future cruise credit for other, you know, another time and switch their cruise line. But from my personal experience, both as a travel agent and a client, I have had to cancel a cruise with Norwegian Cruise Line as a customer, not as an agent. And I had no issues whatsoever. They were very polite. They handled it right away. The money went back on my account right away. There was no problem. The future cruise is there. Everything's good no issues no uh, oh you should do this or you should do that or don't worry about it there was nothing like that and i contacted them numerous times over the past couple of weeks about what's going on for clients and cancellations and things like that and have never had any of them and, and then you don't call the same person you get a different person every time you call and not a single one of them has ever said anything remotely close to what's going on with those emails or what those emails are stating, you know, the leak, shall we say. And I've talked to a few of my fellow travel agents and they've been, they haven't encountered any of this as well. 
I've also seen comments in our comment sections about people who have had to cancel their cruises or get the future cruise and the ones who have talked about Norwegian say they've had no issues whatsoever as well. So as far as I'm concerned this is kind of like headline grabbing um, you know but I want you to be aware of it if you call any cruise line out there and they try and hard sell you or tell you oh prices are gonna skyrocket soon we're almost sold out we're gonna because so many people are interested yeah no they're not they're not the cruise lines are struggling to keep the people they have let alone uh, go on and uh, you know sell out <laughs> if you will so no that's uh, that's a complete falsehood complete complete falsehood so don't let anyone try and hard sell you that way but as far as anyone else you know dealing with the Norwegian cruise line I, I've had no issues people I've known had has had had no issues um, other travel agents have had no issues they've handled it like this they've been professional they've been courteous on the phone they completely understood and so yeah uh, do I believe these emails well <sighs> I don't know, maybe in one location, someplace in their entire place, some manager overzealous was worried about sales and decided to send it. Maybe, but I haven't seen any evidence of this going on. I haven't seen personally as an agent or a client of which I'm both. <laughs> so yeah, take with that a grain of salt. Remember it's one person Remember, it's one, you know, one source for all those news articles out there. So we'll have to wait and see, but that's my opinion. Uh, if you have a different story and you've called them up and you've had a hard time or they've hard sell you, let me know. Uh, but I've talked to the people that call me all the time and said, oh, by the way, I just had to, you know, I just, I got a future cruise credit for Norwegian Cruise Line. I just had to cancel my cruise. Uh, I'd like you to book it for me and go here and I said so how how was it how did it handle it and have everyone says it was handled quite well and none of these issues have popped up so that's my opinion right now I haven't seen it it may be there but I personally have not seen it and I will always give somebody the benefit of the doubt until I see it personally you know what else can you do, <laughs> right? Uh, I'm always very skeptical of, of this kind of stuff. So, hope you appreciate this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.